Today we are going to create a pyro simulation using fluids. So let's get into it. So I'm already in FX Mini. I'm going to go into the fluids and let's take a 3D container. And uh, we have already talked about the basic parameters about 3D fluid and what you need to create a simple simulation. So we'll use some of those factor and so on. So the first thing I want to do is uh, quickly get into the base resolution and change it to 30. And just so we'll have some idea what we are dealing with in a better quality. I'm also going to change the size of the container just so we don't have to deal with the auto resize and we'll have a fixed resolution of the overall container. So I think this will be enough. I'm gonna select my emitter and bring this right about here. All right. So the next thing that we can do is quickly get into how the simulation is looking overall here. All right, so we have something like this. And uh, let's uh, lower the overall quality to see what difference uh, it's making. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go back here. Let's make it 30 again. And the first thing I want to do is go into the content detail and make the density to 2. And we'll play that again. And there you go. All right. So right now the smoke is pretty slow. I'm going to increase the amount of buoyancy in here by making the value to something like 3. And we have already talked about what buoyancy does. And we have something like this. So let's add some more variation to this. The first thing I'm going to do is change uh, the 0. Sorry, uh, let's go to the content method and change the 0 to dynamic grade. So we will be playing with temperature this time. Uh, let's close this down. Uh, by allowing that, we'll have this temperature menu as well. All right, so I'm going to keep the dissipation to maybe like 0.1. And let's add a bit of a noise as well. So 0.1 value as well. I'm going to add some swirl. Let's see 2. And now it's looking. And we have something like this. Let's make it maybe a 4. And we'll go in the turbulence and we'll make the turbulence to maybe like 0 0.5, 0 0.05. And uh, then we'll go into the temperature. All right, so we have some swirliness. We have some uh, temperature going on and so on. And I'm going to go into the container. Let's make this to somewhere about 60. And let's, I'm going to delete the catch if I have any. No. All right, so it looks something like this, not that bad. And let's bring this back to 30. All right, so in the temperature, uh, we get the temperature scale, similarly to the density scale. And we have a buoyancy here as well, how much buoyancy we want in the temperature. So if you haven't uh, checked out the basic introduction to fluid simulation, you should check that out. I've already explained what buoyancy is. So it's a basic uh, pressure applied to your temperature. And the dissipation has been set to 0.100 and we have some turbulence as well. I'm going to add some noise in my temperature as well, just so we have a bit of a variation. And let's play this. And now we have something like this. All right. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the fluid drop off to zero. This will just make it look much better. All right. And let's quickly add some shading into this. So I'm going to go in here to the shading. And before that, let's add some lighting in here, some shadow. That we will have some shadow going on. And in the shading, we'll switch this to the density. And immediately you will see that we are getting that orangish fiery tint here. So I'm going to change the color of my smoke to maybe like a gray. And here you won't see much of uh, the stuff happening because we do have to change a bit of our things here. So here you'll notice that we get transparency. Right now the transparency is too much. So let's reduce this to somewhere about here. And let's add a bit more fire into that smoke. All right. And let's make this a bit grayer. Yeah. So let's change the quality to 50 again. And let's play this again all right so here uh, as you can see the buoyancy on this is too high so i'm going to reduce the buoyancy to 1.5 again and since we already have another buoyancy in our temperature channel so there's too much force being applied onto our fire and yeah so i'm going to go back in here and decrease the buoyancy on the temperature yeah let's see 
All right, there you go. Uh, still, I think it's a bit much, so I'm going to reduce the buoyancy on my density. And I think we need a bit more swirliness, so let's make it 5 maybe. Let's play again. Alright, this looks good. I think the buoyancy has been set too low, so I'm going to switch it to maybe like 0 0.800. And uh, let's play that again. Yeah, this looks quite good now one more thing if you want to uh, change how the overall grid looks you can change it to reduce uh, and you can see how the grid is or the voxels are working here and maybe outline if you want to see the overall voxel you can change it to full and you can make it to none if you don't want to see at all all right i'm going to keep it to bounding box for this one and let's play that all right this looks quite good uh, let's uh, increase the buoyancy to 1 and I'm gonna add more into the density channel by going to the emitter and here you'll find uh, the fluid attributes let's make the density to 2 voxel per second and let's reduce the density scale to 1.5 from the content details All right so that way we are producing more density through our emitter and in the density channel we are reducing the amount of density it has so we will be getting more density through our emitter and uh, how much pressure being applied is set to 1 and dissipation how soon the smoke ends is set to 0.1 alright so we can reduce this to 0 if we want since we already have a dissipation in our temperature channel to 0.100 totally up to you and we can add a bit more pressure into this so I'm gonna change the pressure of this instead of using the density channel and uh, we'll play this all right there you go and uh, let's maybe change the overall shading in here so i'm going to go in the shading and uh, let's see how much we want in here and let's go about here and let's keep it right about here all right this looks quite good uh, if you want you can add some more into this totally up to you what kind of look you're going for and from here i'm gonna go into the catching process so i'm gonna increase this to 100 and i'm gonna select my container go back and catch and my fluid all right so our catching is done and our pyro simulation looks quite good and uh, I'm gonna go into my shading and uh, just change the amount of transparency level here to somewhere about here the smoke is good uh, I'm gonna keep it uh, you can keep wherever you want the input bias how much glow intensity you want and uh, fire should be as spread and this looks quite good so yeah this is how you create a pyro simulation and if you want to change a few things uh, the best thing that you can play around with is the density and the temperature if the pressure is too much reduce the buoyancy if it's, it's too low um, try increasing it more and play around more with how much buoyancy you want in the temperature channel and how much you want in the density channel right um, and apart from that if you have some confusion regarding the density and temperature you can also go into the shading and you can play around with a different channel type to differentiate how much uh, you can say they differ from each other. This is the overall density channel. If I make this somewhere about zero, and let's make this back around here, you can switch it back to the temperature. If I make this somewhere about default, and uh, you'll notice uh, quite a difference with how much uh, fire it contains in the density channel, right? So let's make this somewhere about here, and there you go. Alright, so this looks quite nice. So I will prefer uh, if you want to increase more, maybe base resolution to 200. Since uh, I wanted to do this for the video purpose, I kept it pretty low, just to uh, showcase how this can be done. But you can play around with a lot of different things, maybe adding a bit more turbulence into this. So going into your content details and uh, turbulence, and maybe adding a bit more turbulence into this. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this, um, play around with this and maybe add a bit more density voxel in your emitter channel as well. So have fun with this, play around with this and uh, show me what you come up with.
Alright, so that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.